Hey up everybody, I'm just about to load scratch up into the car with all paraphernalia that's got to go with it for its second steam uh, run out. I'm going up to our sister track for this run so it's on a different, different track to the first one. It's also my second time driving behind one of these and in charge of one of these so uh, if you saw my first video when my first run out you'll gather from that that it was a bit stressful uh, but I got through it okay and uh, I'm hoping that this time my second, my second run out is going to be a bit less stressful and uh, a bit more enjoyable so watch this space and I'll do a, I'll do a video when we go around track
Well, I've just unloaded scratch from that second run out and been out of the shower, and uh, yeah, it, everything's gone to plan. I've had three hours solid driving right track, and everything went to plan. Uh, my second driving experience behind a loco, and I found that a little bit more well, not a little bit, a lot more relaxing, and I felt more confident. So. Although my first experience, if you've seen that video, were, were a bit stressful, uh, my second run out has been a bit, a lot less stressful, I've got to say, and um, more enjoyable. So anybody that's thinking of building one of these, and when you come to, to ride it, uh, don't get too worried, because it is a bit stressful on the first time, but if you get take some advice off of club members, and then when you come to your second and perhaps third go, I think you'll find that, you know, uh, everything's a bit more enjoyable. So anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed that, give me a, su a subscribe and a thumbs up. And uh, if not, I'll catch you on my next video. I don't know what that's going to be yet, but uh, we'll see anyway. So I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now then.